nosebleed seats. I'm the Mac Conservative Crime Fighter. We are back in Burton, Illinois, continuing on with uh, Unfair Game. And we have a single elimination tournament. Nation tournament, eight men aired into this tournament. We'll be uh, showing it up here on the program in the uh, next couple of weeks. Uh, here we go. Nelson Six broke into the uh, MBS 25 for the very first time in July. I have a new MBS 25. Pretty much out by the time you're watching this broadcast. And go to CentralIllinoisProWrestling.com to look at the list. Here comes his opponent, Randy Gray. Kind of a battle of the uh, MBS Training Center trainees. Nelson Six was the last one to come out there. For it, uh, where they had to leave the, uh, the uh, sports complex in uh, Decatur. Of course, there are several Places to uh, train to be a wrestler now open, and such a list is also available on CentralIllinoisProWrestling.com. EWA has a uh, training facility going, or at least doing a class at the uh, JC Activity Center. I know you want Center. the mic. No, I don't want the mic. Right. All right, give me the mic. I will. It's on. First, I will. Compliment the hair. But I will say this, is you don't rock it like r Duff does. You don't rock it like Randy Ray does. And by the end of the night, I'll take my hairstyle back. I'm gonna rip it right out your head, pretty boy. Good luck with that. Taking my hairstyle. All right, here's the brackets. Well, as you can see, there's your competitors. The top half of the bracket will be shown this week. The bottom half next week. All right, let's get this match underway. Nelson Six arguing with the uh, fans at ringside. Here we go. One-on-one -on -one action. Call him elbow tap, center ring. You see that? See how easy that was? You liked that, didn't you? You liked that, didn't you? I know you did. He's gonna knock your head off. Nelson Six continuing to argue with uh, fans from ringside. Have kind of a bright sunny day here in Burton, Illinois as the sun started to sink and shadows start to appear in the ring. I think it came to death. It's been one of those summers where uh, there's only really a couple of weeks of really hot weather and this match, the first weekend of August during one of the cooler parts of the month. And the cooler weather is actually very good for the wrestlers as uh, the heat, the outdoor heat doesn't get to them. Any day of the week, any time. And Randy Ray with an arm drag on Nelson Six. With their hip toss. Randy Ray scoops him up and slams him down to the mat. And a two count. Randy Ray has been in the uh, NBS Top 25 for quite a while. Randy Ray pounds Nelson Six in the corner. Off the ropes, Randy Ray charges a splash. And down he goes. And a cover. And a two. Randy Ray 
Tommy D. Ray. No, come on! Come on, come on, man, man. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh! Come on. He's dropped into the top rope. Kind of missed the turnbuckle there. Cover. Man, only a one, actually. He got the shoulder up at one. He didn't really. House of Six really didn't catch him. Wait, he needed to. And into the turnbuckle he goes. Randy Ray has been uh, bothered by the uh, fan base of uh, Zero One Supreme. Fans have been holding baby nipple signs, mocking uh, the size of uh, Randy Ray's nipples on his chest. Nelson Six off the ropes. Oh, a flying forearm punch to the face. Now what Randy Ray has been using as a finishing maneuver. A drop kick into the corner. A cover. And a two count. Nelson Six, the former PWA Tag Team Champion. Of course, he was not in the match and where the belts were lost. As, uh, with Tom Marson and Brian Ely, they were uh, doing title defenses by proxy, substituting one person for Arson on the team repeatedly, which is a practice that should not be permitted. Suplex from Nelson only gets a two count. Randy Ray may be a, a contender, potential contender for the uh, Golden Microphone Award. As he uh, has uh, been saying quite a lot on the microphone the past several months. Now another two count. Nelson has not quite been able to put Randy Way Randy away. Get him out of the corner. Let's go ahead. One, two, three, four. Come on, Randy Ray. Nelson Six picking up Randy Ray, putting him on the top rope. One. Get him out. Let's go. He's going to be doing something. Come on, let's go. Nefarious. Watch him, let's go. Get him down, hey. Nelson Six pounding him on the top rope. Randy with a headbutt, but he tumbles off the top rope and can't follow up. Kind of dazed himself. Coming up this weekend in the uh, local wrestling scene. Well, Pinfall Wrestling Association will be returning to Springfield, Illinois to JC's Activity Center. Main event, Spotlight Spencer Powers is going to defend the PWA Heavyweight title against Cowboy Bob Orton. Oh, a stunner! Stir through the ropes! The clothesline! Axe handle, uppercut, kick, Randy. Oh, she! I don't know if that was a brain buster, but... Gosh, he spiked him on the head with that. Pro Wrestling Championship Series comes to Granite City at the Tri-State YMCA on Saturday. And a neck breaker from Nelson. Nope, two. And New Way Pro turned to Terre Haute, Indiana with a 1 p.m. afternoon show. That's Central Standard Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. You're crossing time zones. Crossing into Indiana. Randy Ray, pick up. Just throws him forward. Face first. Randy Ray, forearm shot to the back of the head, and that may do it. Two count. Fog Weekend Dreamwave Wrestling returns to LaSalle on November the 1st. Randy Ray, a running floor punch to the face. Got 
got it. Wasn't able to beat Gavin Alexander last week, but he got Here's Nelson six this week. Six minutes, 55 seconds. Brandy Ray advances. I know you love seeing my face. Eh, whatever. All right, we're going to take a quick break. As uh, Brandy Ray celebrates his victory and advancement into the second round. All right, let's go take a look at the weekend schedule. Catch new first-run episodes of the Nosebleed Seats TV on demand at its new location on YouTube. Just go to this easy-to-remember address, tiny.cc slash the NBS. That's tiny.cc the NBS. TV broadcast. Guy Smith taking on Benz. We saw Ben standing out in the crowd. And there's Guy Smith strapping up. The veteran, Guy Smith, hot off the heels of a, a tag team match with Cowboy Bob Horry teaming up with him against uh, Spencer Powers and Tom Arson. However, Guy Smith was not victorious in taking and his opponent taking the uh, PWA heavyweight title back from Spencer Powers. He was able to capture the Pro Wrestling Glory title back from Spencer Powers. Realized Vince was out in the crowd and not in the uh, the dressing tent. Now here comes Benz, one half of the PWA Tag Team Champions, along with uh, Eric Logan. Oh, he wants to shake hands. 
Guy Smith says defer the handshake until after the match. Hi, crime fighter. Nice to see you. <laughs> Your referee is Lucky. Not Larry Lay, but figuratively. Yo, you don't hear anything. Not at all. You don't hear, I mean, I don't hear anything either. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Vins can't wrestle unless there's a little noise. So let's, let's give him a little something. No excuses tonight. Well, that's an interesting way to get the crowd into it. All right, this is a matchup that uh, could have been. These two men have at least not faced each other in a singles match in, well, over a decade. Probably not since the uh, Stockyard Road Theater era of New Midwest Wrestling. They did not wrestle one-on-one -on -one, uh, during the time New Midwest was in existence. On, get from on, get 2002 on, get him, get the day that uh, it uh, closed up in January 2013. Both these men, former New Midwest heavyweight champs, when Benz was the heavyweight champ, one of the potential contenders to uh, Benz would have been Guy Smith, but he was tied up in the Everybody. Apparently there's a test of strength in Guy Smith asking the crowd who they think will uh, top the other. Come on, man. Oh yeah. Uh, got him, I got him now. Whoa. Uh, well Ben's powering up. Got it turned around. As I was saying a minute ago. Oh, there's a side headlock. So I said a minute ago, uh, Benz, when Benz was heavyweight champ, Guy Smith was a potential challenger. However, rules at the time were that uh, they were not allowing wrestlers with a tag team contract to uh, challenge for any singles titles. I think that was a uh, that was kind of holding things back a little bit. Benz needed a could have used a match against a veteran like Guy Smith. Where's Ben? Right, well, right. Ben's and Guy Smith were pretty much at it at the same time when uh, New Midwest started back at the Stockyard, well, the, the old theater where uh, Kevin Bar and Grill now uh, resides. From the southeast end of Springfield. You ready now? Oh, I've been ready. That was luck. Uh -oh. That was luck. Well, he said it was luck. A luck up. And Guy Smith. Unloading the heavy artillery against uh, Benz. Benz has been in a feud, along with Eric Logan, against the team of uh, Scotty Cash and John Magnus, the Disrespecticons. There we go, there we go. Scotty Cash, you may know, was uh, Benz's former tag team partner as the Hot Boys. And of course, Eric Logan and John Magnus were also tag team partners years ago. Sky Cash had been uh, inactive for years, well, since uh, 2009, and then returned to the ring in 2014. He's been locked in the feud with uh, Benz and uh, Eric Logan ever since. And Benz drops an elbow on Guy Smith. Benz is one of those wrestlers that uh, does not ask promoters to be booked. 
he it's just not his policy it's not in his it's not his principle to uh, ask promoters to be booked if promoters want to book him they just he will uh, wrestle for uh, any organization that comes calling are you kidding uh, have to be on their shoulders, on their back, not their Ooh. chest. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, this referee did commit an error. I mean, he should have called for the break, but started counting a fall, and that didn't. That was. Uh, this is uh, this is a new referee. He has no prior experience that I know of. Guy Smith's got the bandana off of Benz and using it to choke him. Come on! Trying to beat this man. Guy Smith. Oh, Benz going down low. Oh, drop kick! Guy Smith got Benz! One, two, and only a two count. Come on, Benz! Next week will be the bottom half of the unfair games bracket. Collision heavy artillery. Near the back of Benz and Guy Smith stretching the arms. PWA coming to the JC Security Center this Saturday. As I mentioned with that main event. The way Pro and Terre Haute. Come on, I can't hear you. Ben's lining him up. Charging! Oh, nobody home! And Kai Smith on a big boot! It might be lights out! Oh, two count. To count, not gonna put him away just yet. You're a loser. Always have to get in there, guys. Make you do it. Come on, Ben. Well, wish everybody a safe Halloween, as that is uh, coming up rel relatively quick. We go to school. Suplex from uh, Guy Smith, and another two count. Yep, Guy Smith's gonna pull him up. Uh, class is in session. Class is in session. Suplex. Now two. What is with this referee? <laughs> yeah, this referee is fast counting that ball. Tell me about it. Yeah, there's a. I'm about. I'm about to be saved by the bell with this one. No, yeah, Guy Smith going for the suplex again. I've been pretty much wearing three hats at this event. A bears with a suplex. One, two, two count. I think this referee wants out of this match pretty badly. He would like. I don't. I don't know what his deal is. Ends with an elbow to the head. As Benz did say, school's out for summer. Rams him in the corner. Oh, Guy Smith got the boots up and a clothesline. Another two. One. One. This referee did not know what he was getting into when he volunteered to put on the stripes. I don't know. <laughs> the 
this is early in the show, and he's got a long way to go. Guy Smith. Side suplex and a set out. And another two count. And Ben's trying to fire up. Ben's fires back. Slugging it out. Ben's rock bottom. And another two count. Referee slowed his count quite a bit there. Say, I don't know what's going on with this referee. Ben's going to line up Guy Smith for the spear. Well, who knows what he's lining up for. He's going to go for another rock bottom. Blocked. Smith. Going to Ben. Got him. Got him! No kick out there. And Guy Smith advances. Ten minutes and 45 seconds. Matchup we didn't get at Newman West. We got here, and it was a pretty good one. The guy Smith is going to shake hands. So Guy Smith advances to round two. Let's look at the completed bracket. That means Randy Ray will be going up against Guy Smith in round two in a future edition of the Benz. program. Bottom half of bracket. Will be Stephen Bishop going against yeah, Darian Frost. Spectacular hey, Spencer Wallace. Of the PWA Tag Team Champions. So he's got Bell. Spencer Wallace will be taking on Craig Blackenstein, which we uh, showcased on the program last week. So that'll be the, the bottom half of the bracket. We'll be showing it next week here on the Nosebleed Seats TV. And that'll do it for this edition. I'm the Mac Conservative Crime Fighter. We'll see you next week.